Hey everybody, many patients ask me which blood thinner is right for me. Let me try and answer that for you. When thinking about blood thinners, you should think about your two options. On the one hand, Coumadin, on the other hand, DOAX. Let's start with the Coumadin. Coumadin has been around for a long time. We have a lot of experience with it. Coumadin is the appropriate blood thinner for most indications. That means you can take it for many reasons when you need a blood thinner on board. Coumadin interacts with foods and with other medications quite commonly. That means that you'll need to monitor the Coumadin in your body through blood tests. Now that can be a positive and a negative. Why is that a positive? Well, many patients like the fact that they know that something's in their system and that it is working. Why is it a negative? Well, obviously because of the blood testing. Let's switch gears and move to the DOAX. DOAX include medications such as Rivaroxaban, Xeralto, Apixaban, Eliquis, and others. As compared to Coumadin, they have been around for a shorter period of time, but still over a decade now. DOAX are appropriate for many common indications, such as blood clots, DVTPE, and atrial fibrillation, but DOAX are not appropriate for all indications, so for example, mechanical heart valves. You'd be surprised, but DOAX may be better for some patients, for example, patients with blood clots associated with cancer, when, where Coumadin is not your best option, actually. DOAX are typically more expensive than Coumadin, and depending on a patient's specific insurance, they could cost more. A big advantage for DOAX is that even though there are drug, drug interactions, they're fewer than with the Coumadin, and there are almost no food interactions, and that basically means there are less restrictions, less fluctuation, and no need for blood tests and monitoring. Obviously, that could be a negative for those patients who like to know that something's in their system. So to summarize, Coumadin and DOAX may be appropriate for you. Each has advantages and disadvantages. When consulting your physician, remember those advantages and disadvantages and choose the right blood thinner for you.